in quality destiny relationships is avoid offense. Write it down. Avoid offense. What is offense? Offense is the ease with which you get irritated, agitated, angry, resentful. The ease. There are some of us who are as volatile as kerosene or petrol. Anything at all. Even if Jesus is said loud, loud, it's enough to annoy you. No. You must avoid offense. This was one, I believe that this was one of the things that brought John the Baptist down. Because John spent his time and had a wonderful track record. But when he was now done, he himself said, I must decrease that Jesus would increase. Excellent. John would have finished strong and well. Except that when he went, he was idle and he was no longer shining. An offense came in. Are we together now? Yeah. And he now went to go and discuss another man's business and they jailed him, about to kill him. And now he sent the man who ordained Jesus. He said, go and tell him, are you the Messiah? Or should we expect another? That kind of statement. When someone looks at you, haven't blessed him for years, or haven't blessed her for years, and say, are you really my father or my mother? That is not a statement deserving an answer. It is proof that offense has come in. The way you are behaving, are, are you really my father? And what do you think your father will do when you ask him that kind of question? Because <laughs> everybody that asks it, receives it. Are you learning? Can I tell you this? By the privilege of walking in the anointing, I can tell you, you will never be trusted with the anointing over nations if you live in offense because you see the probability of you being offended is 100 percent every day 100 not 99.9 percent .9, every day as i'm standing here right now preaching talking to the whole world i'm sure someone is trying to call my phone and you'll be surprised among the hundreds of text messages I will receive. You will think it's everybody saying, bless you, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Until you find a text that says, I used to know you ten years ago. You were not this arrogant. Now that I'm calling and you are not picking, I think you need to go for a retreat. What do you do? Listen. Listen. I'm being very truthful and honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Some of those text messages have come from you. Uh, even if it's the you before, it still came from you. <laughs> Are we together now? Look up. Can you stand in the midst of fire and yet your joy is intact? There are people today who continue to visit the hospital daily because they have not been enlightened spiritually to know that offense is something that if you allow it to come in like a cancer and tear you to death. Someone can look at you and out of all the wonderful commendations that God is giving about you, oh, you are the director, they just gave you an appointment. Another person will send a text and say, so the whole of Nigeria, the presidency did not know. We need to pray for deliverance. You are the one they brought to punish us. And now you are reading the text message. <laughs> you are laughing because it has happened to you. Some of you after ministering and you can watch the worship team ministering and all you are seeing is what was wrong. Why didn't you continue and extend the song? That song is not all. There is a part of it you didn't sing. Is that, didn't you enjoy the part you heard? Say in the name of Jesus. I obtain grace to rise above offense. As you enter this door and come for koinonia, offense starts. Someone can push you and sit down in a way that is, is it church you came to or you came to destroy us? And the person says, it's me you are talking to. When they make the altar call, make sure you are the first who comes here. And two of you are talking. And you see, in the minds of the people, everybody believes he's the one who is in a right relationship with the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Spirit is watching two of you.
Hallelujah. In 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 5, 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 5, Paul speaking about the character of true love. He says that love does not behave itself unseemingly. It seeketh not her own. That love is not easily provoked or easily angered and thinketh no evil. Can I tell you this? When you look at your world and you see a world full of evil, you are right. If you look at your world and you see a world full of the glory of God, you are right. You must train your eyes to see what God is doing. Train your eyes to see that in the midst of the decadence, oh, men of God are fake, men of God are collecting powers. Is that what you are seeing? Or are you seeing that God is lifting people and helping people? And even helping those who were ones who now went to dabble themselves in a lot of things. Why don't you see them coming back to the faith? And you see God rising and the church growing. You must maintain a gaze that is consistent with the mind of Christ. When Jesus looked at man... As a species, his creation. He would have seen death, hell, decadence, all kinds of things. But he came full of love. And even while they looked at him, he hung on that cross. When he stood with Barabbas, they were willing to release a criminal so that they would crucify him. He watched the faces of the people and he saw those who ate his bread. He saw those who took all of these things. They were there at his crusade. And they even had the effrontery to say, let his blood be on our children. And the innocent children were there watching. They didn't know what they were putting on their heads. And Jesus looked at them. And with the compassion that only God can have. Love poured out from him to them. Very powerful. Listen, let me tell you, when you live a life that is void of offense, not fake deliverance, genuine deliverance from offense. Anytime you find reason for offense, remember what Jesus did for you. And remember what you did to him. Remember. I really want to worship you, my Lord. You have won my heart and I am yours. Forever and ever, I will love you. You are the only one who died for me. Gave your life to set me free. So I lift my voice to you in adoration. Listen, many of us today do not have friends in our lives. The lifespan of relationship with you is two weeks. You must fight. You must fight. It's not just an attack. You, you've been delivered. You've been, hands have been laid on you. You took communion. Come on. This is not about demons. You must come to yourself like the prodigal, whether son or daughter, pro, the prodigal person this night. Listen, listen, listen to what I'm saying. Please pay attention. You can't continue to live your life like this. The moment people are afraid of you because they know in five minutes something must annoy you. They gather during wedding, you are watching. In five minutes, you are already angry. Someone comes and says, Please, can I pick something? Can you? Is it only my table? You why don't you just embrace the fruit of the spirit? Listen, listen, I have a responsibility to teach you this. Many of us would have been greater than we are now. Do you know there are people who, there were deliberations around your promotion. And from a standpoint of your technical knowledge, you were sound. But they said, this person cannot be trusted with this office. His anger and his offense will kill everybody. We will lose in this company. Not because of lack of technical know-how. He does not have the maturity and the stability. Can I tell you this? Weakness is great strength in the spirit. Don't be under pressure to prove that you are not a small person. Look, let me tell you, Abuja, this is one thing I saw in this city. 
everybody is a big man and nobody wants to marry. Look, just because I didn't come out with my car today, don't think I have. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Mm-mm. I watch with shock and wonder how people behave. And I, what is this? The fact that you have to say you are a big man, that already. Because the Bible says, neither do men put a lamb. See, let me tell you something about God. If God has lifted you, bar, you are lifted. If you are not yet there, no matter what you do, something in you will betray you. And let people see that there is a loophole, you are not really there. <laughs> 